Hi Robins and welcome back to my channel. I hope all is doing well. Today we're going to be doing a what I ate in a week video. I had been asked a while back what was the point of Second Life Food and I'm here today to show you all why I enjoy Second Life Food so much. I know most people's concern about Second Life Food is, well, we can't really taste it. But have you ever heard the statement, we eat with our eyes first? Well, in Second Life, this is definitely true. <laughs> it's also a great way for entertaining your friends and loved ones by giving an illusion that we're bonding over a hot meal. Over the years, the creation of food in Second Life has really became a hot commodity and also a new addiction for shoppers like myself. So for the next seven days, I'm going to show you all just how much I enjoy Second Life food. To keep it in the spirit of Valentine's Day, which is today, Happy Valentine's Day, Robins. Let's start with the Romantic Morning Toast by Tentatio. Sometimes I like to mix and match different pieces. I remove the knife, the fork, the napkin, and the cutting board, replacing it with Laurel's Kitchen Plate by Ellen. And I adjusted the transparency of the shadow. And for the final touches, I added raspberry and almond macaroons as well as a cup of rose tea by Apple Fall. For those of you that follow me on Instagram and watch my stories may have already seen some of these food ideas. If you aren't following me, be sure to follow me at Quincy Robin underscore SL. Today, I'm in the mood for a small picnic in my front yard. I started with the Dream Outing Picnic Basket by Dust Bunny. I fell in love with the XOX flower bag by Ariskia. I modified it and added the West Village wicker basket, which allowed me to really balance my colors off. I then added the celebration forks and napkins by Lucas Lemeth. I modified it using just the napkins I then made a copy and did the same process of modifying it, but this time keeping just the forks. I then added the awesome Calling wine bottle and the Season of Giving Macaroon and Roses by Dust Bunny, the Holiday Deli Board by Vespertine, and the Caviar and Salmon Locks appetizer by Lucas Lameth and the beautiful Wagasa series umbrella by Rauro and let's not forget our dear friend Mr. Rabbit <laughs> which is called Rabbit in the Forest by HPMD
It's Tuesday and I am thinking about avocado and toast for brunch. The apple fall Elvira plate with egg, avocado and toast was the perfect place to start. Then change the transparency on the plate to 100. Adding the wooden board by nutmeg and making another copy of my toast. Then adding to the scene the iconic white and integral bread, Calopsian Dahlia's avocado basket, Tequao bowl of egg yolk, and Dika eggshell, Apple Falls red tea cloth, Laurel's kitchen salt and pepper by Elam, and the Zinnia flowers by Lode. Hello Wednesday, and I am still in the mood for a bit of avocado. So today I've decided to do avocado with shrimp curry rice by Sino featuring Tia Rungre. I also picked up the Hasaku citrus cake, which we will be using later on for dessert. I am going to switch the plates from my curry dish and replace it with the Apple Fall Autumn Place Setting Plate. We will have to do a quick modification to alpha out or make the other parts transparent. You can do this much quicker by using Select Faces and Edit Link Parts and deselecting the plate by holding shift. Then go to the transparency tab and type in 100. This will make the selected parts of the plate setting transparent. We can now remove the plate, spoon and napkin from our curry dish and move it to our new plate, covering the shadows that were left behind. Using the nutmeg plates and spoon, I removed the spoon to use as a prop at the end. Let's move this to the side for a moment and work on our dessert. For dessert, using the Dust Bunny Kitchen Clutter cutting board, I used the transparent trick to select the first cutting board that has the least shadows. Adding a flower drink by Tentatio, and again using the transparent trick to hide the rose petals. Let's repeat the transparency step again and again with the place setting and our slice of cake plate. And now let's enjoy our curry dish. It is now Thursday evening and I am thinking steak for dinner. I made a purchase of the Dust Bunny Steak Dinner Collection. Their prepping board came with so many beautiful colors and textures. However, using our transparent trick, we are going to narrow it down to the things that we need and will fit our stove top. We will be using the prep board again with different transparency settings on different parts of the board. 
Adding to our scene, the butter dish by LM, the Etienne, salt and pepper, and the garnet wine, both by Fancy Decor. The oil cap is modified Geno Evo Oil by Tor. And last, the star of our show, the skillet by Dust Bunny. It is Friday and we have decided to order us some fast food. The fried chicken delivery by Vespertine was a great place to start. I decided to add a plate by using the Cooperin Fondue Plate by Fancy Decor and using the transparency trick to remove the items on the plate. Adding the chicken slider from the Vespertine collection. I did a quick modification of the Vespertine fried chicken bucket by unlinking the french fries and the chicken drum at the bottom then placing it on the plate. I then modified and used the chicken bite by Random Matter Takeaway Collection. This is a gotcha and I will be using a couple of these as props at the end. I also added a couple of the salad from the Random Matter Takeaway Gotcha Collection as well as the buffalo wings and the chicken bucket by Vespertine fried chicken delivery. Fast food made simple. Let's dig in. It's Saturday and I am in the mood for fish. Starting with the Dust Bunny Autumn's Calling plate setting. Using my transparency trick, keeping the silverware. Adding the Ethian plate stack by Fancy Decor. And for our fish, I used the Aiwashi no Shioi Aki by Te Kuao. Using our transparency trick to remove the plate and the shadow and placing the fish on our dish. I then added the Honey Bell Oranges Slices by Luke Lucas Lameth. Also using our transparency trick to remove the bowl and the shadow. Adding a small black plate by Andika and using pieces of the prep board from our Dust Bunny steak dinner to fill in the spaces, such as the garlic and the basil. And for the final touches, I added the salt and pepper shakers by Fancy Decor and the white cloth by Nutmeg. There are so many things that you can do with food in Second Life. It really does bring people together. 
And it is a great addition for those that love to take photos of food and a great way to enhance your role play decor. There is also a wonderful Facebook group that posts new releases of SL Food. It's a great way to stay updated with new releases. I will be sure to leave the link to this Facebook group in the description below. And a word of advice, if you're given lemons, make lemonade. It is okay to take things and modify it and make it your own. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog of what I ate in a week. Leave a comment down below letting me know which dish was your favorite. And also, you are more than welcome to share your second life dishes with me on my Discord server. I would love to see what you've been eating. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of my postings. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more foodie videos like this one, please let me know in the comment section below. I will continue to post more images of foods with their ingredients on my Instagram stories. So until next time, bye!